morning guys it's a 5:18 pm today is uh, thursday uh, and may 19th right so let's go to the closing remark first right uh, from yesterday so sell us to hold below 30 and 60 in yes and nq has to hold below this 65 in NQ overnight. If that is the case, then sellers are in control. Okay, so that's the first thing. 39.50, which is this, right? So overnight high was 31. So at least sellers are in control. NQ overnight highs was 9.53. You know, so it was below 66, right? So below 66 and this 50 sellers have a control. That's a bigger idea to keep in mind today. You know? And you can see 66 held today, right? And price closed lower. 39.50 price couldn't get there, but at least it closed down below. Okay, so that's a bigger idea, right? And then yes, short-term sellers are now back in full force, right? With mid-term sellers. So now sellers are aligned with short-term sellers. You know, mid-term both are aligned. Sellers are holding it below 39.50 as per yesterday's closing remark, right? Which is we discussed. So no longs but only stick with shorts so below that area only look for shorts no longs you know so if you see any divergence anything you know you ignore longs from the lower level now if price breaks out above certain range right intraday but it is below 30 and 50 then you ignore that breakout also but instead you look for a fail breakout since goal is to short below 30 and 50 and below 12066 in nq right so that is the goal now right you look for fail breakout in that case uh, below 39.25 more sellers and below 38.50 sell off possibility right so 39.25 more sellers right so i am giving you two levels here right this this and third level is this right? that will give you some trades right uh, and these are the hunting levels right if price choose to go higher right uh, this is the nq stuff actually i forgot for years I forgot to put it, it was 4000 and 4025, those two levels were there here, you know. This is NQ's hunting level. For NQ, below this, you know, and below this, more sellers, right. So these are the two levels for NQ to keep in mind and say 11700, right. Russell is all about today, this area, right. So I didn't check Russell's today, so you can check, you know. Dow also I did not check today. Actually I checked, you know. So the morning low in Dow, you know, this was below this area and this area, right? uh, and then that's pretty much it. You know, crude, I said no trading today, but if you really want to trade, then sellers below 107.50. You know? So dream numbers 898, 863, right? So 898, 863, price pretty much held this 863 dream number, you know, almost at four five attempts you know entire day pretty much it held this level you know. uh, yes somehow the dream number is matching with this 84 level that is what it hold it held you know and i already gave you the description you know the importance of 84 you know later on i found out right so i just give you a screenshot or chart showing why there were some buyers trying to defend here you know so you can go through the discord and you will know so of the open i traded only up to 10 o'clock right which i didn't do any real trading today because you know uh, the way price action happened you know in the morning i was watching see remember in the morning going into the day i said patience is required you need to find a good trade right if there is no trade then there is no trade you know? so while opening we were reading these things at the height of the open i said there is i was watching mbox today right so right of the open say i said there are some buyers in nq good amount of buyers right and then you can see price went higher but the goal is we are not looking for longs right so we did not take this long right and then but the expectation when it went above this area right it has to hold above it right the moment nq came down here and then slice through 898 yesterday's low yes below yesterday's low now here right so we ignored the morning loss right but we have since because we are looking for shorts this was a short the moment see here first time we tried it right here right and it went higher but it failed to hold so here it's effort no result mbox situation you know? but for us it's a fail 
breakout of yesterday's low. The moment it went down, you are ready to short. Now you are looking for a new low. No. So, uh, new low means you want to see a, a sizable down, downside move. You know, if everything is lining up, right? So here, the first thing I noticed was when price was going down, right? You can see there was a divergence here, right? Any divergence, which is not good, right? At this point, you don't want to see any divergence because this said buyers are trapped now, right? It should be a straight fall, you know, without any divergence. But still, you saw a divergence here, right? Which is not in NQ, but ES has a divergence, right? So NQ also same time, you can short right here. You know, and then you can hold your trade. But at that point, we also discuss in this call that NQ has to hold below 845 to 830 area right here. And bring more sellers. Right? But here, NQ instead went higher, you bail out right here. Around 842, 845. You know, that trade is over there. Yes, you bail out right above 84, right here. See, so ideally you want 84 to hold now, right? First of all, the morning low here. Instead, it went higher and then came down and then it's holding. You are either you bail out here or here. That trade is over, right? So, since price was able to go over 84 and this dream number again and here, right? It is telling you the day is stood up. Both parties are acting. Only way now to trade is outside the range. So technically there is no trade. You know, after this point, there is no trade unless price goes out, right? So all this trade which I am showing you here, they are the trades where we you have to basically monitor this these candles, right? And then you have to see which side is inactive, active, inactive, you know, all this thing. You have to do all this exercise. If you do that, then you will have a trade here, you know, which is right at this. 39 or 39 but anyway this the trade was here right here uh, because uh, hold on so that was yesterday's low right so here you can see it price went above it came down right and then there was another breakout right but at this 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 time you can see there was a divergence in minor divergence in AD which is not a good sign for buyers right but you can't short it here you know, because the way look at this momentum here see it is slowly coming up so does the price right see in the first place price should not have reversed from here but since it did there are some bias right? so you do not want to fit against it you know? at least you have to wait for a day's range to be cleared out and then trade so but anyway this was a trade right at this first hour the yesterday's low you know then NQ there is no trade right unless you see this you know price popping higher like this wants to go higher because here it's held a beware then it went higher kind of a breakout into resistance right so seller stepped in right this is really a balance going on no breakout or nothing remember we are not looking for a breakout trade we are looking for a failed breakout trade as long as it's it's holding below this right so so then it failed it came down all the way here right i was thinking it should go down now right but then, see these things was rising slowly. But anyway, this is not the location to going with the flow now to the short side. You want to see a, this balance getting bigger up. Then here, after multiple attempts, the balance was broken, right? So around what time? 9, 11, 10. So that's where the 11, 10 was. See that? So... Hold on. What is it you want to? Right here. Right. Uh, man, I'm feeling sleepy now. Somehow. Yesterday, I went to bed at one. You know, woke up at six o'clock. So don't get enough sleep. Uh, and that price action is choppy. You know, it's hard. I'm just showing you the trade. You know, but really, I didn't like this price action. So there is there is no trade. You know? So I'm just trying to show how you can trade this damn thing if you, if you are still trading in the chop. Right? So this was a trade at the first of a low, uh, yesterday's low. At the same time, there was a trading in Q here also. You know? But then if you see price is not going down, right? you bail out immediately. Right? And then you now you want to wait. See, you already tried it here once. right? Now you want to wait for price to completely be out. Right? Here there was a breakout attempt. 
But now remember, we are not looking for a breakout trade, right? As long as it is below this. So here also the breakout trade happened, right? So we are not looking for a breakout trade. So there is no trade here. But when it pulls back, here you want to assume that now the day's range is broken, right? Which is this area. It should hold right here. You see that? So both of them come to this level. So this is the reactionary long that you can take targeting some higher up levels. You know? And if and then you also be ready, you know, because of this choppy price action in the morning, some sellers can step in. If they do, you have to bail out, right? So or you can target since price came down here, right? You can target this next area and then bail out also. You know? Or you can when it hits here, you take some profit and then you can do break even stop. So so here it bounced right from this long so the idea is it should go higher now because by the time AD was rising right like like this right but instead it failed see here here right so it came down pull back pull back right yes also first of all area so it bounced now the idea is it should go higher right but instead it went down right took out this low took out this low see that's a sign that you are ready to short and the moment price pop back up right like this right you can short here but let's say buyers are still active from here right step step up so you want to wait because price can do fail breakdown of this low so to wait when price went higher it is a fail breakdown idea right here so I'm sure some of the intraday traders try to go long, but you should not be going long, as you know our story, right? Below these sellers. So, but instead, then price still went higher, and then immediately came back down. See, so this was your short, targeting the somewhere into this area. No. E, uh, yes, same thing. No. You can short right here, targeting the low of the day, something like that. No. And that be all for today.